Hi friends! Hello everyone! So if you are watching this video, it is because you are either A, my cousin Irene and you asked for it, or two, you just randomly stumbled upon it. Either way, thank you for watching. Um, but this is basically how I do my eyebrows. So first things first, I quit tweezing my eyebrows because I overdid it one time and that scared the living bejeebies out of me. So I no longer tweeze like under my brows. I only do my unibrow, which I cleaned up before I started this video. So that's something you should probably do. Just just remember to tweeze your unibrow. Um, and then I color my eyebrows with men's beard dye. If you guys want a video on how I do that, it's a separate video, but I do have a kind of a special technique to do it. So if you want to see that, let me know, I guess. Um, but anyways, I do need to color my brows because now that I did my hair darker, I need my eyebrows to match, but that is why we fill them in. Okay, so first things first, I use the Got To Be Glued Styling Gel. It's for your hair, but I saw a girl on TikTok use it on her eyebrows and I was like, you know what, if it's good enough for her, it is good enough for me and her bra brows were banging. So the other thing I will sometimes use is glue. Yes, you heard me correctly, glue, as in Elmer's washable school glue. Now this stuff, it goes on purple, but it dries clear. I will never get rid of this. Hold on. Hey mom. That's embarrassing. Anyways, I will never get rid of glue because if I don't want to bring this with, I can just bring this and it works really well too. The only thing is that if you use the glue, sometimes then when, if you use um, what I use to fill in my brows, which we'll get to later, it, it can kind of discolor it. So just keep that in mind, I guess. But anyways, let's just start with the got to be glued. Now, if you use too much, it will start to get flaky. So I only use like maybe that much. I'll probably add some more as I go along, but all you do is just like lightly coat your brows. Inside my corner here, that always sticks up like it doesn't get glued down. Okay, so then you just get to shaping, which I'm gonna speed up because then this can take me a while because I am way too picky. So immense the uh, fast motion. Okay, so you can see how many times I adjusted my eyebrow and whatnot. So after I put on the spiking glue, I go and I like brush it down and that is to get my hair to actually stick to my skin so that it doesn't um, like let up during the day. And you can kind of see that I got some flakies and whatever. So yeah, I'll just literally take my finger and try to get it off my skin, but leave it on my eyebrow hairs. So I added a lot to my eyebrow as well a lot of the glue so honestly it's gonna probably get flaky later on but hopefully with my eyebrows filled in it won't look quite so bad I have yet to find a product that doesn't do flakies or mess with my eyebrow pen at all um, like the color so if you guys have any recommendations definitely comment down below I know that got to be now has an eyebrow glue but I haven't been able to find it around here I should order it but I hate waiting for things in the mail and I know that they're um, coming. So that's why it, why I don't order it, which is so stupid because I could literally have it by now, but just because I don't want to wait for it, I'm like, I'm not going to order it at all. I'll just wait till I can find it around here and have it instantly. Makes no sense. I know that, but I'm going to do this eyebrow. This one tends to be a little bit better to do. I have one thicker eyebrow and then one that's a little bit more sparse, which is this one, which is maybe how it's easier to do. But I do sleep on my right side typically. So my hair is a little bit thinner on this side and my eyebrow isn't quite as bushy as the other one, but I'm gonna work on this guy and so we're gonna speed this up because this, this is literally boring. That is as good as it's gonna get, I think. So they're not always like perfect. And you need to remember, your eyebrows are sisters, not twins. They're not supposed to be exactly the same, as hard as we might try. Okay, so after they're like glued down as good as I can get them. Hold on, my dog won't quit barking. Sorry about that. Okay, so then I go in with the um, NYX Lift and Snatch brow pen. 
and it's like literally a pen. That is the tip. It draws individual hairs. That's gonna be upside down for you guys. I don't even know if you can see them, but anyways. So what I like about this is that you can build on it or you can literally just fill in specific spots, which is kind of what I try to do because I want my brows to look as natural as I can possibly get them to look. For me personally, I don't like the thick blocky eyebrows because I've been there, done that. And now when I look back, I wanna die at these pictures because I literally look awful because of my eyebrows. So that's why I like this, because you can draw in individual hairs. Okay, I haven't filled my eyebrows in for a hot minute, so this might not go like real great, but I'll just kind of show you how I try to fill in the areas that are sparse. Like right in here in the corner is sparse, but then right up here is a little bit sparse. So I try to even them out as much as I possibly can. <sighs> I'm a little nervous to see how this goes. So I will speed it up though, because it's gonna be a process. Boom, there's my eyebrows. Okay, so if I'm being real, they're okay. I definitely think that I could do a little bit better. The inside corners are kind of bothering me, especially on this one. Eh. It is what it is. Wait, maybe I need a little. There are days where I will literally, like when I do my eyebrows every day and I start to get super picky with them, I will go into my room, see them in a different lighting, absolutely hate them, take them off and reapply. Especially if they get like way too thick, which I like the bushy look, but if you've ever wondered who inspired my eyebrow shape, it is literally this horse. This animated horse. Why did they give him such amazing eyebrows? Like, I don't know. Also, why did they make him so hot? Anyways, that's something for a therapist, but that's literally who inspires my eyebrows. If I needed to, I could draw these eyebrows on a sheet of paper, which I have done before because I enjoy drawing them. I can always do the right one better than the left one, but I've literally drawn these eyebrows on a sheet of paper and people will be like, those are literally your eyebrows. I'm like, yeah, because I draw these on every day. I've gotten fairly good at this shape. Anyways, I, okay, so they are a little bit thick on the inside, but sometimes, what are you going to do? Like they're kind of blocky, which if that happens, sometimes I will just wipe off this inner corner and then try again and try to get it look like more individual hairs instead of like thick, kind of like how they are now. But anyways, that's literally how I do my eyebrows. It can be really easy if you want it to be, or you can get really picky like me and spend 20 minutes on them. But if you want compliments on your eyebrows, spend 20 minutes on them because I get compliments on my eyebrows. So I'm just saying, it's up to you. Uh, but yeah, that's how I do my eyebrows. Thank you for watching. I hope this wasn't boring. Irene, I hope this helps you out. It they are what they are. You know what I mean? All right. Have a good day. Bye.